Hello, Darren Martineau here, and I'm back in this video to show uh, my top 10 best intermediate uh, books that I'm going to recommend to my students and friends. So what we're going to do is we're going to talk about, um, these are uh, mostly, these are card magic, okay? This is, uh, I'll make other videos going into depth. There's there's so many books, there's just thousands upon thousands. So in this video, like I said, this is the top 10 video on the best intermediate uh, card magic books. I'm going to start off with Expert Card Technique, one of my favorite books that I've recommended many times. And this is by Gene Hugh Garden, and Frederick Browie. Uh, I'm going to highlight in particular some of the effects in there. Uh, they're everywhere and, and nowhere. There's a couple versions in the book. My favorite is uh, by Frederick Browie, which I have uh, my modern uh, variations of. But I'm always working on this plot. Uh, there's so many uh, great ways of doing this. Uh, of course, the ambitious card, and uh, there's many other uh, hidden gems in this book. I'll make another video going in depth on on each of these. Okay. Uh, the second book, book number two that I want to recommend to you is uh, uh, got a lot of a lot. It's a lost book and a lot of hidden gems in it. It's called the Card Magic of Paul de Paul, and this is a book from 1949. This has uh, got some really excellent. Uh, it's got elevator aces in it. It's got uh, a lot of awesome ace routines, uh, four signed aces to a sealed envelope. It's got a lot of really strong pieces in there. So I'll make, uh, like I said, other videos going in depth on each of these. Okay. Uh, book number three is going to be uh, Card Control by Arthur Buckley. Okay. In this book, I have found the origins of the one handed top change, which is aka known as uh, Harry Lorraine Ultra Move, uh, which is. Uh, actually also found an expert card technique as well but uh, this goes way back so uh, you know these slides go way back uh, that's why credits are so hard to trace but uh, that will be book number three okay um, book number four is uh, really a lost gem that I found uh, as a magical creator and magician I found a lot of really hidden gems in and these are books that I read, you know, I wouldn't say every day, but almost every day. I mean, I study magic uh, on a constant basis and I'm teaching magic. So this is uh, the next one, which is uh, called Best Card Tricks by Charles uh, T. Jordan by Carl Fulves. This is a this book cost about 10 bucks, but this has got so many amazing gems in there, uh, like Bewildero, uh, Leaper, so many awesome effects, uh, Color Divination. I mean, I just... I would make a whole, I should make a whole video on that as well. So the next one is not a book. Uh, this one's recommendation number four, and this would be, uh, it's beginner, beginner slash intermediate, but I put it in the intermediate section for the reason that, uh, I usually like my students to start off with self-working card tricks because the sleight of hand will take more time, of course, to uh, master. So this is easy to master card miracles by Mike Lamar, and this is a nine volume, uh, DVD set. Okay, and it's got a lot of the classics in there, a lot of great stuff in there. So I highly recommend that. So uh, we're on number five, and number five is uh, the Erdnase, Expert at the Card Table, but I'm going to recommend to you the Annotated Erdnase by uh, Darwin Ortiz, as this has got a lot of really awesome information there. I also want to recommend my mentor's 11 DVDs, and uh, Wesley James has several DVDs on these as well. So I want to recommend Erdnase. Erdnase is a very uh, classic, okay? Uh, the fundamental slice of card magic. The next book I want to recommend is uh, Steranko on Cards. Steranko on Cards is a very lost uh, book, and it's got, it was about in the Jerry Andrus uh, era of magic, uh, and uh, he's got some really awesome effects in there. I'm going to highlight one, and uh, that is going to be something that I'm currently working on, which is... Uh, called The Dead Man's Hand, and it is a, a story effect based on Wild Bill Hickok. And uh, there's a version of it in there, and then I'll give you another idea why it's so good to study the classics. Uh, I also want to recommend uh, the book uh, by Ted Anman's uh, Card Magic, which has uh, an effect by the same name, uh, The Dead Man's Hand, which is by Henry Christ. And that one is uh, the second version of Dead Man's Hand, and the third would be by Brother John Hammond look up uh, his uh, work on the dead man's hand. So uh, the one by Henry Christ is really interesting. It's a, it's a, a gambling routine. And I, I, uh, I really think it's interesting because 
it's a like a gambling poker demonstration where the spectator gets the dead man hand and uh, there's a lot of really interesting effect in there as well so that would be the next one I want to recommend okay so so that would be we're on let's see one two three four five six seven now we're on number eight which would be another really lost uh, hidden gems book it's called the living end and it's a book by jg thompson and it has uh over 200 card uh card uh locations or card revelations in it and uh i'm currently working on uh the world's greatest uh, ma uh, master magic university site and i'm going to take all of my modern uh my modern magic based on these classic books and i'm going to be putting in here so this is really going to be incredible. So click on the link and check out more about that. Now we have uh, Stars of Magic. This is another book. Okay, I'll put in the intermediate level. I have a lot of classics from Di Vernon and uh, uh, Francis Carlyle's Homing Card. It was a card to pocket and a lot of really awesome classics in there. So I want to highly recommend that as well. Uh, then the final book would be any books by Harry Lorraine. You know, Close Up Card Magic has got, uh, you know, coincidentally yours. It's got uh, the Revolving Aces, uh, which is a principle from Henry Christ in there, uh, which is a really cool 4 ace production. And uh, so these are my top 10 for intermediate level magicians. So uh, check these out and you'll find a lot of hidden gems and magic. Thank you. Please subscribe.